This is a demonstration of the real-time chart functionality in iPerf for Windows. Here we have two machines, one in a remote desktop session, running a copy of the program each. We're going to start a TCP server on the remote machine, and we're going to start a TCP client connecting to the server with 10 threads on the local machine. So as the client starts up, you can see the standard iPerf output in the console tab, and if we switch to the Charts tab, we can see that output being captured and rendered as a real-time chart. We can reconfigure this chart by changing the properties of one of the axes. So for example, the bandwidth axis, if we double-click on it, we see a configuration menu where we can change the unit of measurement, change the maximum, or change the maximum to be automatic so that uh, it rescales to whatever values come in. Moving further to the right, uh, we can also rescale the axis quickly by just clicking on it and dragging up and down. This lets us quickly react to measurements as they change. And for the axis on the right, uh, there is the CPU axis, which is a new feature added to iPerf Windows, which lets you track the load on the individual machine to make sure that it's not affecting the measurements. So on the client, we can see that the load is quite high, but on the server, it is negligible. So if we stop the server and switch to UDP mode for the server and the client, we can capture packet loss and jitter measurements. So as we restart the server and client and once again switch to the charts view, we can see some new data being displayed on the server on the right. So at the very bottom in red, you have the loss uh, percentage packet loss, which in this case it's the local link is quite low and in green you have the jitter in milliseconds and since there are 10 threads, uh, if we double click here to show the configuration menu the 10 different threads are graphed individually as well as uh, the sum thread being graphed and we can change it to be a bit more noticeable um, so th that is the average of the jitter for the 10 individual threads uh, we can also, if we pause the graph so it doesn't keep scrolling and stop the server, we can scroll back and backwards and forwards uh, in the history window and we can change the configuration of the time axis to show time values or not and show a background grid or not as well as better isolate the individual pa individual tests that we have run uh, by zeroizing the test data. Uh, in addition if we switch to a different sliding window of say one minute to zoom in or 10 minutes to zoom out a bit for long running tests or we can display the entire history that we have collected thus far by switching to full history and now if we start the server and the client while in full history view mode we're going to see results come in on the right but the results on the left will start to be squeezed in as the entire history is displayed and everything that you have tested is vi visible from one view. So once you have collected enough information for your tests, you can save the data by either saving a screenshot or saving a full HTML report using the two buttons at the top here. And that quickly summarizes all the test results for uh, the iPerf for Windows real-time graph feature. This is a very fast and efficient way to quickly interpret the results compared to iPerf console output, and we think you'll find it quite useful. Thank you.